Hey YouTube, and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is um, improve our basic missile again, and we're going to add some more features to it. So if we click the enemy, we fire at the moment, wrong one, we fire, you can see it fires but it's sideways, so I quickly want to change that so it actually looks at it properly. So if we go to our pre resources folder, prefabs, missile, we can drag it out, and you can see it looks like it's facing the right way. But if we go to the top view, this blue axis is its front, the way it's going to be going. So, obviously it's backwards now. So what we can do is go into the cylinder and the particles, and we can just drag them out and turn the cylinder 180, or 0 then. So, okay, that's the wrong way. Try it, 90. There, it's facing the right way. We can put the particles where we want them to be and we can take them both back into the missile oh dear, wrong one, that doesn't look very good now the particles have disappeared oops, cylinder and particles just like that so I'm going to improve these particles and make them a little bit smaller because missiles usually have quite small from what I've seen on TV shows and everything Point one. so it's going to be a lot smaller and when you throw it it'll only come out of the back of it and I'm going to set the min size to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so they're smaller so when it does fire it'll be directly behind it but what I'm also going to do is duplicate it and make these ones a little bit smaller so just 2-2 two, two. and I'm going to, not going to add colour to it but I'm going to make the flame, that, well this is going to be the flame of it a bit bigger and then we can scroll down and instead of making it smoke I'm going to make it fire so it looks like it's got a turbo on it, or actual fire coming out of it. I know it's not possible for space, but hey, we've made some kind of magic space thing. So, fire particles, and this can be smoke. The smoke will be coming out of the back of it. So when, when it's dragged, it should look really cool. So it'll be interfering like that for now, but we can just change that. So if we change the easy, make the fire ones bigger, so 5 and 0.5 that's a bit big 0.3 and 0.3 and make the smoke ones 0 0.2, 0 0.2 so now when it fires you should see a mix of smoke and fire so it look like it's actually firing so if we stick that back in and get it well, one thing I want to do is actually make it well we need to change the box collider first so ignore that so if we just come to the box collider and switch uh, the X one with the Y one. Well, that didn't do anything at all. So there, change that to one. I make this bigger, so that should work. And we'll make the Y one a bit smaller. So I think that's almost perfect. I like that. That's pretty good. Yep, that'll do. So we have our missile box collider. I'll stick it back into the prefab. And one thing I want to do just before we do is add the auto destruct thing onto it. So if, if it is chasing a person for too long, we give it an extra amount of course, because it's a missile, but then eventually it'll just be like, oh, it's not working, destroy. So bullet destroy, lifetime will say 30. So if an enemy is fast enough to dodge it, it's eventually going to go boom. So it adds a little bit of a you can start escaping feature to it. Obviously the enemies won't be able to run from it, unless we get faster ones, but... So, we find one, three, click it, boom. So as you can see, it looks slightly better. Boom. So... He's spinning like that because he is technically dead. But, the, we are going to fix that now. So last time... Um, we looked at it and his life is less than it but it's still not doing it and you've got to remember programming goes down it reads logically like line by line so the reason it's not working is that when we click here it comes down and reads right enemy hit enemy hit comes down here and then checks if it's life's death but we don't need to do that we need to take his life off first then check if he's dead so it's just a simple programming flip and then it should work every time so it'll go, hit him he'll go uh, uh, boom and then what I also want to do is give the missiles some 
fire effects. So when it does hit, it lights up and it's really, really cool. So it'll be really cool. I just said that. <laughs> so we click, fire. We'll eventually get some sound effects, make it look cool. But it goes up and. There you go. So it hits him straight away. So we can collect the items. It works. Press I. It's not there because, of course, it's not worked. But yeah, we do have loads of errors, but we will eventually fix that to why it's doing that, but not yet. So what I want to do is now add the missile effects to the missile. Yeah. So we're going to drag the missile out, and we're going to go in and grab the particles. And we're going to duplicate it and type in explosion. Explosion. So, of course, it needs to be a big ish explosion so I'm going to scroll down and give it a different fire to the flames just so it looks a bit different so where are they <laughs> I, I, I never did get around to that that was a skill level I was planning but never did do it so we'll try that one because that one looks really cool and we're going to scroll up and we'll make it ellipsoid 1.5, 1.5 and 0.5 it's still not big enough so we'll say 1, 1, 1 that's a bit better We'll turn the mi ma min emission up to 50 and 50, so there's quite a few. Um, the energy, we'll say, yeah. And the min size, we'll say 0 0.2 and 0 0.5, just to get some real ones. I don't know, it doesn't look very good. I think I'm going to switch back to it. Of course, that one's not wanting to work either, so we try... So the reason it's not working is because if you look on if we had the explosion, we now have two fire effects and it's not working. So if we double click the one what's messed up and just turn it back to smoke, which is, we'll just say that one, that one looks nice. The reason it's not working is because when we assigned it to the explosion, we're actually assigning it to smoke, so that's not what we need to do. So I'm going to come up grab, flame, so we're going to select which fire we need, so fire 4, I'm going to select flame. Or fire four there. Well, let's okay. Fire three, and we'll just assign fire three directly to the explosions material. So fire three, two, there. So we've got the fire, and I'm going to make it a bit more violent so there's more. So I'm going to turn the energy down to 0 0.8 and 0 0.8, so it's a bit faster. I'm going to add some force on the up right, so it's going up a little bit. So we we'll just say one. So it's a bit bouncy now, so it'll be random. I'm going to go up and turn, make sure random rotation's on, but I'm also going to turn one shot on. And then it'll just explode, explode, explode. Then if we turn the max energy back up, it'll spawn and then die. Spawn and die. So it'll look really... I don't know, we could destroy it quick enough, basically. So turn the mana mission to five. So it'll spawn, turn the these ones up a bit. And turn the size up. I think I prefer it as one shot, yeah. So what, all we're going to do is turn that on, or actually enable it. So if we turn particle renderer off, all we're going to do is go in, turn the particle renderer on, make it a null parent, and then destroy it after a couple of seconds. So we'll just add a component, bullet destroy, and we'll set it to one. So it literally hits, boom, let's go, gone. And that's simple. But we don't actually want that, because I remember we had fading destroy. Fade in destroy. There we go. Timer is a thousand. So it's it. It'll slowly disintegrate and go. So that should work. So all what's left is to actually make. So the place we want to do this is actually in the enemy thing here. So if call missile before it takes the enemy's life and checks it, we're going to come in and basically say uh, call dot game object dot transform dot find and we'll say what's it called explosion so zoom in again I apologize explosion explosion dot game object so that'll search inside the call and it should find the explosion object hopefully so we've got that then we go dot get component bracket particle renderer I think it's like that dot enabled equal true. So that's liked that. So there's the code one more time just so you can see it. Card that game object find blah blah blah. 
and that should enable it, then everything else should take care of itself. We do actually need to make it a parent of itself, so it's got no parent. So transform dot find that dot transform dot parent equals null. So it's just in raw space. So that should work really well, hopefully. So attach it back to the prefabs up here. Missile, and we'll give it a test. So if this works, it should look awesome. So drag it around, click, and fire. The variable target of heat seeking has not been found. Oh, it's got another one. The reason it's doing it is because we've got the missile there, so just delete it and it should work. So I thought we programmed against that, but obviously it's not allowing it. So fire, fires up, we fly up, we look down. And there's our cool funky missile, so it's him. Boom, so as you can see, it partially works. I, th I actually like that, I think I'm going to keep it like that. So that's all we're going to do for this tutorial. Really, really simple. Well, I'll do some more next time. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. Just some more cool effects for it, and I'll see you next time.